Hello, this is Cotton Stoops, and today's HDC video is on Pyrolin. Pyrolin is one of the most splashable fire types in this game, which makes it pretty good, so why not talk about it? From the counters and checks and teammates that you will need to know for Pyrolin in order to use it in the battle, as well as the roles and sets you'll need to know for Pyrolin in order to, to use it, and of course its weaknesses and resistances, today's video is all about how to use and counter Pyrolin. The role that Pyrolin plays is an essential question to ask and the only way we can answer it is with its base stats. With its base stats, it limits itself from taking a lot of melee hits, so don't really try and switch in on Pyrolin on any melee attacker unless you're heavily invested, which I really don't advise by the way. And of course, its melee attack of 24 is really, really bad. Its speed tier is in competing with other walls, so while it isn't the lowest speed in the world, it's not going to be outspeeding a lot of offensive lumens and you're going to be com pretty competitive when outspeeding other walls. However, you do have good energy stat of 91, allowing you to use a bunch of moves before you run out of energy. And its range defense of 79, while it isn't as high as it looks, it definitely will be higher with its HP of 119. With this HP stat, it's going to be very bulky on the range side and it can patch up its weaknesses in the melee defense side as well but of course it's a range attack of 133 allows it to hit really hard and making it one of the most hardest hitting range attacks especially with the accessibility to rallyable personalities so this will be great so what role does pyrolin play well it can be a strong and bulky wall based off its hp stats it will be able to tank a lot of hits but you can also know that it can be a bulky offensive lumen if you want to. So, with that out of the way, let's talk about Pyrolin's weaknesses and resistances. So, Pyrolin's defensive typing will have 5 resistances to fire, plant, ice, metal, and bug. Fire types are not as common in this metagame as it was before, but this is still a pretty good resistance. Plant types to resist, mainly Tatab is a pretty good resistance to have because Tatab is really good. And ice types like Himmer, Barbadger, and Wintrix will be good fire types to switch in on as well. And for metal and bug types, this is pretty great too because metal types are all over the metagame as per usual. And bug types it will allow you to switch in on stuff like Harvesect and Deldrix, which can be pretty good in the long run. And finally, three weaknesses to earth, water, and air. Do note that this air weakness is now gone if you run the ability of Fanning Flame which will give you a hint on what will be running for the set, which is pretty nice. And earth and water weaknesses, they're pretty common in the metagame, so while you do tank some hits, it's definitely not advised to tank hits from earth and water types overall. So with that out of the way, let's talk about Pyrolin's set. Pyrolin's range defensive set will be utilizing the ability Fanning Flame. The reason why we're running range defense is because we have a lot of great matchups against range attackers, so this will be pretty great, and the Fanning Flame ability removes one of our three weaknesses, making it even harder to take down Pyrolin without or with super effective moves. And the personality, very clever, frail, sluggish. This is pretty great because this will be boosting your best overall personality that you will be needing to use. And frail, sluggish, we're not using these things anyway. If you do want to run robust, clever, just so you don't decrease speed, you can do that as well. And for the move set of choice, Rejuvenate and Fire Breath will be your main two moves so you can deal as much damage as possible with your stab and Rejuvenate to heal as much as you can. And Peace of Mind or Burn Up, either one is fine. Burn Up is to, of course, get rid of hazards if you struggle with that on your team, but that shouldn't be most teams, so Peace of Mind will almost be the option. And True Blast or Boom Bash, this is very, very specific because if you do not struggle with Ancient and Spirit types, then Boom Bash will be the way to go. However, if you do struggle with those types, then run True Blast. Boom Bash is mainly here so we can have better matchups against Bug and Typeless types, and of course, hit the middle types that we cannot hit super effectively with Fire Breath. And the item of choice, Heavy Shield, will be this item. However, you can run Mysterious Dust, which is, in my opinion, a lot more general and better for most pylons. So go do that if you want. But this set will just mainly be utilizing this item so we can boost our range defense even further. 
And for the TPs, 24 energy allows us to use 2 fire breaths, 2 peace of minds or burn ups. And finally, 1 rejuvenate, which is pretty good. 200 HP in range defense is to max out the stats that we will be needing to use. And 72 melee defense is leftovers, and you can put leftovers into the range attack as well. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the counters and checks and teammates of Pyrolin. The offensive counters and checks for Pyrolin is very simple, however they're pretty limited in what they can do. The best offensive counters and checks is obviously in the Mare, because it resists all of Pyrolin's moves. You can of course use some other Lumis that can switch in for two times, like Halvantic and Borok, depending on what set the Pyrolin will be running, so this will be pretty great. Assuming the Pyrolin is defensive, then Borok, Namare, and Halvantic will be having an easier time compared to these guys. Stuff like Deldrix and the rest, they will need to revenge kill it or switch in on one of its moves that it can resist. So it's not going to be dealing too much, but you of course need to have some chip on Pyrolin if you want to use these other guys that I have not mentioned. And the defensive counters and checks will be a little bit more simple, but again limited. Namare is still going to be the best option, and if you want to go into a peace of mind war with Pyrolin, then Fiskarna will be your best answer. Setamars is mostly the offensive one out of the bunch who can deal with Pyrolin mainly because it can tank Pyrolin's hits with its very clever set and deal as much damage as it can with Hasty Earthquake, which is pretty nice. And overall, Luminami and Tyrex, they're pretty okay. A clever Tyrex can have a chance to switch in on a Fire Breath, but most of the time Fire Breath will be 2 KOing it. Although since you do outspeed Pyrolin with Tyrex, it can be good if you do switch in on a resisted hit. And Luminami will not do anything without peace of mind to Pyrolin. However, it's a good pivot to get into the battle and obviously get into something more offensive that can deal with Pyrolin. And finally, the defensive teammates for Pyrolin will be specially melee walls like Obsidragon, Luminami, and Harvesek. This will so make it so that Pyrolin will have some backbone to go on if a melee attacker or a Lumi that it's weak to switch in, which is pretty nice. Of course, you can run other Lumines like Tyrex and Phagenot. While they don't cover Pyrolin's weakness as much as these guys do and a bunch of other Lumines I probably haven't mentioned, it's definitely something worth mentioning. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the conclusion and my thoughts on Pyrolin. So, Pyrolin is really, really good. If you're looking for a defensive fire type or just a fire type in general, Pyrolin is probably going to be your best bet. It's actually, in my opinion, probably the best fire type in the game other than Ikazune. However, Ikazune has its faults and in my opinion, from what I've researched on, Pyrolin just looks a little bit better in viability. So these are my thoughts and the information on Pyrolin. Hopefully you liked the video enough to subscribe. I do have other uh, content like Lumion Analysis and some other stuff as well, which can be pretty good. So yeah, remember to like and subscribe. And of course, remember that Zulong is still a dumpster fire.